Throughout the two years I've had an AMD graphics card, I've seen many users complain about the poor performance and making the same mistakes time and time again. So in this video, I'll reveal the no BS optimizations you can apply to your graphics card to instantly increase performance. So to get started, you want to open up the AMD control panel by right clicking on your desktop and opening it right here, and then go under the gaming tab and the graphics tab. Once you are here, you want to scroll down, make sure all of these are disabled. And then when you get to texture filtering quality, you just want to make sure it's on performance as the default is standard. And then for surface format optimization, you want to make sure this is enabled. And then scrolling down just a bit more, tessellation mode, you want to change this from, I believe it's on use application settings, I could be wrong, but change it to override application settings. And then make sure the maximum tessellation level is off. Okay, and once you're done, you can go over to the display tab and for your monitors, if you have one, two, three, you just want to make sure that virtual super resolution and GPU scaling are both off. And then also for all of your monitors, you want to go to the override section and make sure HDCP support is off. Okay, and then we can move over to the gear icon right over here, go under preferences, and make sure all of these are turned off as well as hotkeys. You want to make sure both of these are off. And now for performance under tuning, now you won't see uh, any of these settings just yet if you're on default, but you want to go over to custom and make sure that the manual tuning is turned on. All right, and once you've done that, you want to go over to GPU tuning and make sure advanced control is on. And so instead of seeing percentages, you will see um, your actual frequencies. And then you'll see your max frequency right over here. So mine is 2559. And so for your minimum frequency, I believe it's set like somewhere down here. You just want to type in 100 below your maximum. So mine would be 2459. Click enter and apply. Now another thing you can do is turn on power tuning and set this to the maximum. I've seen many users be able to go up to like 20%, but for some reason mine's locked at zero, so I don't believe it makes a difference for me. And for VRAM tuning, I don't mess with this. I've seen some people change the memory timings to fast timing, and I'll leave a screenshot on screen of a Reddit post that talks a little bit more about this. And as you can see in the Reddit post, he says that the results are very marginal, so it's not that big of a difference. Now for fan tuning, you want to enable this. I have this disabled just for the sake of the audio because my fans do get a little bit loud. But you want to turn this on and then also turn on advanced control. And if you have an option right over here that says zero RPM enable, you want to make sure that's disabled. And so then a custom fan curve that I like to use is somewhere like right here and then just increasing these just a bit. Just like that. Now this will have your fans running at a pretty fast speed all the time so if you don't want to do that you can go for a lower fan curve but just know that your temperatures might be a little bit higher. Alright now moving on to the next optimization this is for people who play uh, DX11 games or DX11 on Fortnite or performance mode and as you know or as you may know on AMD performance mode and uh, DX11 especially in games like Fortnite is pretty bugged as the FPS is horrible on these. Now by applying this tweak, it should mitigate some of the performance issues y'all are having on performance mode or DX11. So yeah, to get started, you just want to hit the Windows key in R and type in regedit. All right, once you're here, you just want to go under H key local machine, system, current control set, control, class, and find the one that starts with 4D36E968. So it's gonna be this one right here. Just want to expand it and click on the one with the four zeros. Now you'll see a bunch of options over here, but you just want to find these two. So D3D vendor name and D3D vendor name. Wow. All right, so they're right here for me. And what you wanna do is you want to go under the one that says DX9 Navi with regular DX11. And so this one's for D3D vendor name. So you just want to double click on that, slide this all the way to the right. And as you can see, the first two are the same, so we don't need to change those. But the last two we do need to change. So we need to change this from AMD XX to ATID XX. And then the same thing for the last one. And then once you've done that, click OK. And then under D3D vendor name, wow. 
you just want to do the same thing go all the way to the right and this is the same thing over here so just type a t i d x x and a t i d x x for the last one as well and so yeah this tweak is for people who are having problems with the x11 titles or uh, performance mode in fortnite now for this next optimization, this one's just going to be removing any of the power saving features that come with your graphics driver. So to get started, I'll leave both of the download links for both of these tools in the description. Once you've downloaded them, you want to open up GPU Z and then click not now. And then once it opens, you want to click the little share icon right here over by the BIOS version and click save to file. And then you just want to save it to your desktop. Once you do that, you should have this ROM file and then you want to open up more power tool and under this little drop down menu, you want to select your graphics card and then click load and then load in the ROM file. Once you do that, you want to disable zero RPM. This will keep your GPU fans uh, running constantly. So if you're having any temperature issues, this should help a little bit with that. And then under feature control, this is where you could brick your whole system. So you want to be very careful and only disable the ones that I'm telling you to. So the ones that we're going to be disabling are the power saving features. So that is all of the ones that start with DS. So all of these you can go ahead and disable, then click OK, and then write SPPT to apply the settings and then you can restart. Now moving on, you want to have MSI Afterburner. If you don't have it installed, again, I'll have a download link for it in the description. So what you want to do is go ahead and open it up. And over here on the left side, you want to click the gear icon, make sure start with windows and start minimized are checked. And scrolling on down, you'll see under the AMD compatibility properties, disable ULPS, you want to make sure that is checked. And then you can click apply and OK. And another thing I forgot to mention is that for MSI Afterburner and more power tool, if you install a new graphics driver, you're going to have to reapply all of those settings which I know may sound like a pain, but if you really do want the performance, it shouldn't be that big of a deal for you. All right, and the last optimization I'm covering in today's video is gonna be in Device Manager. So just press the Windows key and type in Device Manager, click Open, and then you want to go to View, Devices by Connection, and you'll see all these PCI Express root ports. You just want to find the one that has your AMD GPU, so it's gonna be this one, and just keep expanding it and you'll see that under this downstream port, you have your graphics card and the high definition audio bus. Now, if you're not using audio through your monitor, you can go ahead and disable this. And I recommend you do disable this because this takes some resources away from your GPU because it's on the same PCI Express port. So just right click and press disable device, click yes. And then you can go ahead and close out of device manager. Alright, and that's all for today's video. If I missed anything or want me to cover another topic, please let me know in the comment section below. And also, this is my first video, so please take it easy on me. And I expect to upload plenty more true, no BS guides and information for you guys.